Hi, welcome to Dynamic Manual's blog. This is part 2 in the Customer Insights Technical Deep Dive series. I am Manu. Today we are going to see how to configure custom AI models for an intelligent experience with your customers. Custom AI models are built to resolve a specific business problem. For example, it could be churn prediction, product price prediction, or it could be even product suggestion based on the customer's past purchase history. Well, um, where are we now? In the part one in this series, I have discussed how to bring data from these data silos like loyalty database, point of sale and e-commerce database and we pushed it all through the built-in connectors and we did unification like mapping, matching and merging and we, as a result we got the unified customer profiles in hand. We do have to do some uh, enrichment for these profiles which we will be covering in upcoming sessions and today we're going to focus on an interesting session that's AI and ML. Customers are churning out and that being the problem, our goal is going to be to predict the churn risk of these customers and take action so that we can retain them with our business. Let's get into a demo now. Well, these are the prerequisites. You need to have a Customer Insights trial or a paid subscription and you need to be a Customer Insights data admin as well with access to an uh, Azure subscription. I'll provide more details and links in my blog as a write-up at dynamicmano.com. We are on the Customer Insights instance now. In the part 1 in this series, I have shown you how to unify data from various data sources, the silos like e-commerce, um, loyalty scheme, point of sale and website. As a result of the unification, we have the unified customer profiles in this instance. Well, this organization has expanded its business and there's a requirement to bring in a new uh, data source called Contessa Hotel. The reason is some of the customers with Contessa Hotel are already our existing customers. Um, let's take a look at the entities in this data source. It's just three. It's um, Hotel Activity, Hotel Customers and the Service Usage. I have merged the new customer profiles with the existing ones well but there's some problem with this organization it's still not going well here uh, they have identified that some of the customers with this new business are being churned out and we need a ai solution to do the churn prediction on the customer profiles ci gives you the intelligence capabilities just click on the custom models and you're going to configure a workflow that will interact with the web services that's configured in the machine learning workspace and you can just pass your data from your CI instance to the model. Technically, you're doing a model ingestion there. So once the model is run, it's gonna give you the output as a prediction. We're gonna interact with the custom AI model through this web service, which is not configured yet. For me to integrate the AI machine learning model with the CI instance, I need to have a customer insights data admin role in the CI instance and a data admin role in the Azure portal. Also, I need to ha set up uh, both the CI and the uh, Azure portal under the same organization account. Now with this in hand, I can set up the Azure machine learning resources. I need to have a resource group, a web, a web service price plan, and I'm all set ready to go. In just few clicks, you can do it yourself. Just follow the Azure uh, documentation. And uh, when I launch the machine learning studio, I won't see anything there. Uh, it's the, just a blank uh, workspace. Um, ideally, I'll be asking my data scientist to create a custom model for the requirement for my business. And once that's in place, um, I can just deploy as a web service because I'm not going to do data science here. This session is focused on configuring an existing model and we'll see how to work, make it work with the customer insights instance. So for this demo, I'm going to import an existing model from the Azure gallery into my workspace, um, run it and deploy it as a web service. Once the web service is available for me, I can consume it in my customer insight instance to configure the workflow. Here's the churn prediction model that I'm going to import into my machine learning workspace. Once it's there, I'm going to run it. I might need to tweak this a bit later because it may not be compatible with the data that's available in my customer insights when I send it as an input for the prediction. 
Um, there are some um, input data flows here for the hotel customer activity and hotel customers and the service usage. Similarly, we do have some web service inputs here. And these web service inputs are the data points that we're going to ingest from the customer insights workflow when we try to run the prediction score. The data that's passed through the uh, web service input is going to go through some transformation before it's being ingested into the model. When run, this model is going to score the customer profiles for the probabilities of being churned out and the score probabilities will be returned as a web service output. This web service output can be consumed in the customer insights instance through the workflow. If I click on this import data step, I will see the data source URL here. This is where the data is being pulled in from. And in, in your case, like if you're pushing it from your customer insights itself for training purpose, you could just um, export. You will have export destinations here. Let me show you. Um, go into the admin and you have export destinations. For example, if you're setting it up in the Azure Blob Storage, you can go here into your uh, experiment. Where is it? Up here. Okay. So you can choose the Azure Blob Storage and provide the account and key details. And it will be ready for you to consume here. That's pretty much done. And let's just deploy this as a web service now. You should choose your price plan and just click deploy. The, this is the storage account I'm going to use. The web service is now ready. It succeeded. Let's go to the CI instance. Give it a refresh in case it doesn't, doesn't pick up the web service. Um, let me go to the intelligence. Create the workflow here. Give it a name. Prediction end point and wow the service is now available for us yes so um, i mentioned to you earlier that we will be having three web service input as we have seen in our experiment let me go here this being the customer and there's one more here hotel activity the service usage so you're going to pass these three web service input from the CI instance and that's what we're going to configure now. So for hotel activity, we have the Contessa Hotel data source, the activity entity itself. And for this one, make sure you're passing the customer insights data. And the last one will be service usage. If that's done, it's going to be pretty fast. And here you're going to choose the customer ID. Once that's done, I will click save and run this workflow against the customer profiles it's done it's pretty fast and it's gonna run now so while it's running it's actually doing prediction on the customer unified customer profiles in our CI instance so you will see what the score looks like against each customer profile that's done and where do we see the scores now well go to entities you will see a new entity created under intelligence that's the prediction endpoint output one and when you click on this entity you will see the churn prediction score against your customer profiles okay let me pull this guy the column names are not in sync with the actual data that's fine let's download this okay these are the prediction scores Okay, let me download this as a CSV. You will notice that the model has actually considered the um, past stay history, the number of times the person, the customer has booked the stay in year 2015, 2016 and so on. The total dollars spent. So these are like the booking type, I mean the room type, booking type, the various factors that affect the prediction score. So we don't need to go into those details that will be taken care of the taken care of by the data scientist. Here we have the churn scores ranging from 0 to 1. The higher it is, the higher the chance of your customer being churned out. And given that this data is available in your CI instance, we can now create segments out of it. I'm going to create a quick segment from intelligence. 
sets let me select the prediction endpoint output the entity that's created while i run the workflow churn scores greater than 0.8 let me review this wow. we have 3000 over customers who are at a high churn risk and i'm gonna save this the segments are updated now you can go to the home page click on the segments here you will have the visualization here this data can be downloaded as well or you could also export it to any external system like marketing or dynamics 365 or customer engagement apps you could just take some action on these customers so that you retain them with your organization for further business that being said we are done with the intelligence we have now a clear picture of how to bring the Azure machine learning experiment to work with your customer profiles and help to solve a business problem in our case it's churn prediction well I'm gonna leave you soon with this few takeaways here um, we did set up Azure machine learning resources we imported a custom AI machine learning model into the AML workspace um, of the same organization we didn't create let's uh, do it with a data scientist and we deployed it as a web service so once the web service was available for us it we consumed it in our customer insights workflow configuration page and uh, we passed the data from customer insights to the model when we ingested we were able to do the um, churn prediction on our customer profiles while we ran the workflow on a scheduled basis and we did create a segment of high churn risk customers and with this in hand we're gonna take some action upon the customers to retain them with us i hope you enjoyed this session thanks for watching